If you stay positive, you're winning the war against negativity. You're winning the war against despair. You're winning the war against stress. When you succumb to negativity, it changes your character. You snap at your kids, you snap at your teammates, you feel stuck, you feel on edge, you feel tense. And that's why I wanna to talk to you about the power of your attitude right now. Because your brain is a pattern recognizing machine. And when you succumb to negativity, whether you think you're doing it or not, your brain will automatically start to see more negativity and feel more negativity, which is why it's so easy to get stuck ruminating and worrying and in this sort of loop that you can't get out of. And so we're gonna to talk today about building a positive attitude as a habit. Positive, powerful attitude is infectious. It inspires other people. It makes you resilient. It will help you spot more positive things. What positive things could you spot? You can spot opportunities. You can spot solutions to the problems that you're feeling. You infect other people with this positivity. You show other people that it is possible to face what we're facing right now and not succumb to fear. And so this weekend, I'm gonna give you a very simple step to take. It is a grounding tool that will help you build a powerful attitude. The moment you feel yourself getting negative or disassociating or feeling a little despair or starting to get stressed, Take a moment and you're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna assign something to each one of that countdown. Five things right around you that you can touch or see. What does saying five things that you can touch and see do? It immediately brings you into the present moment. This is a powerful practice, everybody, for having a powerful attitude for compliments or things you're proud of. So I'm proud that I spent some time reading a book this morning. I'm proud that I got my ass out of bed eventually and got out of my PJs. I'm proud of the fact that I apologized on the morning team call because I came in like a fury. I'm proud of how I've been with my kids because I've been really trying hard to be patient and it is not easy. Three people that you're gonna reach out to or that you love. This is Mandy. Mandy, say hi to everybody. Name three people in your life, darling, that you're gonna reach out to. Mandy's reaching out to a friend of hers in Boston, her aunt. Oh, and she's gonna FaceTime her grandparents. Two things that you wanna learn in the next day or two. I'm gonna learn about my camera and learn how to take better pictures. Oh my gosh, somebody just said they're making naan bread. I am too. And I'm making doll right now and some incredibly cool new chicken. And the first thing, it's a little mantra you can say to yourself. You ready? Right now, I'm okay. And if I have a positive attitude, I will win. When you feel negative, you're gonna do five things that you can touch and see, say four compliments to yourself or things that you're proud of, three people that you love that you're gonna reach out to, two things that you're committed to learning, and you're gonna repeat this mantra. Right now, I'm okay. If I have a positive attitude, I'll win.